For more on the importance of China's Gaokao, I spoke to John Quelch, Dean of the University of Miami Business School. I began by asking him if the exam system is fair given the amount of pressure it places on its students. It's an enormous pressure on students, on parents, and on teachers. Uh, but for many Chinese youngsters, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to uh, break out of, for example, a, an impoverished rural environment and, and make it to one of the premier universities in Beijing or Shanghai. So for many, many Chinese families, it's, it's very, very important uh, for their children to do well in this, uh, in this national test. But one thing I would say is that with growing prosperity in China, uh, more and more middle class families have the ability to afford other options. In other words, to send their children overseas for undergraduate education. And of course, the United States, as well as Canada, Australia, and the United Kingdom in particular, have benefited from that trend. Now, given the current political climate in the U.S., you have China cautioning about people visiting the United States due to violence and the U.S. threatening to restrict some of the best and brightest from studying here. Not a great equation. Um, well, I think these are uh, uh, comments that are being made at a national level. Uh, let's uh, not forget that when someone is going to elect to study in the United States, uh, they're being groomed for that for several years. They're going to uh, really concentrate on getting the English language test as strong as it can be. Uh, they're going to concentrate on getting their grades up in their schools um, and perhaps preparing for the SAT as well when it comes to uh, American college entry. Uh, we at the University of Miami have seen no downturn this year in the level of interest in Chinese uh, applicants at the freshman level and actually also at the graduate business level uh, for postgraduate business programs we've actually seen uh, a very dramatic increase in the level of uh, Chinese applying for admission to our school. We have so many stories from around the U.S. of the benefits of these brilliant people studying and contributing to U.S. output. Uh, given the current political climate, you, it, it, it may only be now, but are you concerned about a brain drain here in the future? Human capital, uh, when it's especially uh, endowed with skill sets uh, in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics arenas, the so-called STEM uh, subjects. This human capital is inherently mobile and whatever the, whatever the political restrictions may be uh, in the minds of people in capital cities, the fact is that companies all over the world need to uh, attract and retain the best possible talent. And this is especially true in the arenas of high technology. And so um, U.S. companies, uh, British companies, uh, Chinese companies uh, are all competing for a finite uh, talent pool mm -hmm. of the best and the brightest. And I think that, frankly, the, uh, the, the politics of the situation are such that economic development in any country requires this talent be attracted. So politicians may make uh, uh, some rash statements about restricting uh, people's movement or their ability to study in other countries, but frankly, uh, the world economy demands better of them than that. Do you see any significant changes to this all-important exam? The Chinese government authorities, the Ministry of Education, have uh, gradually uh, added reform elements to the Gaokao, and uh, this year uh, we're seeing an extension from six to 14 uh, provincial areas uh, where Gaokao reform is um, now uh, available. And what, what in particular this means is, first of all, less emphasis on rote type learning, um, and also, secondly, uh, more optionality for the students taking the exam. So uh, up until this year, they were very much focused on either choosing science or arts and social science. But 
now they have the opportunity to choose from among 12 combinations of subjects and so there's more flexibility being built into uh, the test itself, more choice for individual students that enables presumably the individual student to uh, better demonstrate uh, their true uh, capabilities.